You may not be aware, but the March firmware for the Osmo Action Camera introduced an exciting new feature. Hi, I'm Ashton Droning On, and the Osmo Action was released quite a while ago. But just like the Osmo Pocket, DJI continue to evolve the software and functionality of this camera, and it's really good to see. The latest March firmware introduces some new updates that you might not have noticed, one of which are updates to the stabilization software, which will fix the slight lag that people complained about with the preview screen. But the main headline here is that they've now introduced live streaming to the Osmo Action camera. There are some limits around the live streaming at the moment, but maybe they'll be extended as future firmware updates are released. But right now it caters for 720p, four megabits per second live streaming, and also up to 104 minutes live streaming constantly. Now 104 minutes doesn't sound like a lot, but it's an hour and a half of live streaming. I think that's plenty for most people using these kind of action cameras. When the Osmo Action was released, live streaming was one of the elements that we highlighted as missing from this lovely little camera. However, it's great to see that DJI have added it via a firmware update. The GoPro Hero cameras have had live streaming for quite some time. And in fact, on the Hero 8 Black, you can live stream up to 1080p. However, the limits of 720p may only be temporary. They might be permanent, but regardless, 720p is a good first step and it will be more than adequate for most. The other consideration is if you are live streaming on a camera like this, it may be that you're out in the field, nowhere near Wi-Fi, and therefore using mobile bandwidth, in which case 1080p will suck your mobile data like crazy. So 720p is much more data friendly. So how to grab the latest firmware? Well, if you haven't updated your Osmo Action yet, it's very easy. There are two routes and I recommend one of them over the other. The first is of course, download the latest Mimo app and get it installed on your phone. When you then connect it to your Osmo Action, you'll be given the option to update the Osmo Action. But I found that updating my camera via the Mimo app is not particularly reliable. And so instead I recommend this. Go onto the DJI website and look under Osmo Action Downloads and there you'll find the download of the latest firmware. Once you've downloaded that zip file to your desktop, simply take the SD card out of the camera, put it into your laptop or desktop and unzip the zip file and move the bin file onto the root of that SD card. You then simply insert that SD card back into your camera and turn it on and it'll immediately automatically start updating. It takes about two minutes, and when it's finished updating, it will let you know that it's finished by rebooting and then showing a confirmation. Once you've updated the firmware, I always recommend then turning it on and checking the about under settings and just verify that the latest firmware version is shown there. With the firmware all installed, simply connect your Mimo app to the Osmo Action and then click live stream option on the slider menu on the right hand side and then you'll see your streaming options. So we've got Facebook, YouTube, or RTMP, which is for other streaming platforms. And it's simple as that. And then you can choose your settings. There's a number of different settings in there, including the connection, who can see it, etc., And also the resolution, of course, so 720 or 480p, and the bit rate, depending on your mobile bandwidth, perhaps. And then finally, there's another feature as well, which is quite nice, which lets you save your live stream to the SD card. So that's a nice way of capturing whatever you're streaming so that you can perhaps edit it up later and then you simply start. So what might be next for the Osmo Action? Well, personally, I would love to see this camera and the Osmo Pocket updated so that I can use them as a webcam on my laptop. How cool would it be to live stream on YouTube or similar platforms using the Osmo Pocket's face tracking feature so that it can move around and follow you? That would be really good to see and I've asked for it for years but DJI have not yet delivered. Please, if you're listening, do it. Anyway, comment below with your thoughts, give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you're miserable and click subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.